Hi everyone and welcome to the Unity 3D Scripting API series. So we're still talking about the Monobehavior class and its event methods and we're going to talk about the on application quit event method. So this is sent to all game objects before the application quits. And the on application quit event method will be called when a user quits the game application. That means they close the game application completely or when you exit from play mode inside the unity editor so on application quit event method takes no argument and this is unlike on application focus and on application pause which take a boolean as an argument so when do we use uh, the on application quit method so some use cases are for example saving a player's score when they quit the game so you want that code to be inside the on application quit event method and let's have a look at this code so in my unity editor i already have my cube object and the cube controller script attached to my object and you do that by dragging and dropping it on the game object or here in the inspector window Okay, so let's have a look at this script. So at the top, I'm using my namespaces and I have my cube controller class, which inherits from the mono behavior class. And the mono behavior class gives us the ability to use the start event method. And inside the start event method, I'm using debug.log to log the string start event. So this will let me know when the start event method is called and executed. Okay. Next, I'm using the on application focus event method, which takes a boolean that I've called focus state as an argument. And I'm using debug.log to log the string the application's focus state is plus whatever the true or false value uh, that will be when this application is called. And lastly, I've used uh, on application quit event method. So I have that. And inside this method, I'm using debug.log to log the string on application quit event. So this will let me know uh, when this application uh, quits. Okay or when the on application quit method is called more precisely. Okay, so let's try this out and um, clicking on console so that we can see the messages and let's click on play. Okay, so now you know from before that the on application focus event method is called before the start event method and it's going to return true because the application is in focus okay we haven't stopped the application or minimized it and then we have the start event method which is called on the first frame of the game and let me go ahead and click on play again to exit from play mode okay now you see that the on application focus event method runs first and it gives us this false value because when I quit from play mode or I exited from play mode, then the on applications, uh, the on application focus state will be false. And then we have the on application quit event method, which is called. And this lets us know that we've exited from play mode. Okay. So that's all for this tutorial. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you think this was useful.